Hi, I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. And today, as part of our equipment series, we are going to talk about short pinned pin brushes and when, where, how you might use them on each coat type. So for our double coated breeds, typically I am going to use a short pinned pin brush. You know, as we've said before, the shorter the coat, the shorter the pin we like on our brush. The longer the coat, the longer the pin. So a 16 to 22 millimeter pin, so the short to kind of short medium pins is what I'm gonna use for most of my double coats. Even though some of them have like slightly longer, more luxurious hair, like in their rough or maybe in their pants, because of the texture of the hair, but most of the body type is that shorter hair, that's why I'm going to say that we need those shorter pinned pin brushes. For our drop coated breeds, um, the short pin pin brushes, I would only be using like on their shorter leg coat or sanitary or maybe puppy for our drop coated breeds. For scissored coat type, again, it would depend on what breed it was. Um, obviously on poodles, I tend to use a shorter pin pin brush on the body and the longer pin pin brush when I'm using hairspray and spraying up. You know, Kerry Blue Terriers, Bedlingtons, I would again use that shorter pinned pin brush. That is when I would use them. Setter Spaniels, for the most part, I'm using a longer pin pin brush because I'm using a bristle brush on their jacket. And for the longer furnishings, I'm using a longer, so I would not be using my short pin pin brush. Um, smooth coated dogs really aren't using a pin brush on them. Maybe on some of our like longer, more plush short coats, like a Beauceron or something like that. If you, you know, considered that to be a short coated dog, you could use a short pin pin brush on that. And wire coat type, that's really where my short pinned pin brush really shines. Um, that's kind of the only pin brush I'm using on those wire coats for two different reasons. Typically they're firmer, but they have that shorter wire coat. Therefore they need that shorter pinned pin brush. So here we are with a drop coat example and when we would use each pin brush. Now remembering that basically the golden rule of pin brushes is the longer the coat, the longer the pin you want on your pin brush. Obviously this beautiful mature coat, um, I'm gonna be using like pretty much the longest pin I can use. So I'm using like a 35 millimeter pin here. And this is the pin brush that I would use over her um, entire body. I'd probably even use it on her legs. Um, you could, if you wanted, take a shorter pin pin brush and use that on her leg coat. You could use it around her face. But if you're proficient at all with your, your brushes, um, there's no reason why you can't use a longer pin pin brush all over her entire body. Now, when we are brushing, you know, we really want to make sure, especially as we're working around the head and we're working on the ears, that we want to be holding the ear with our hand and kind of use it, letting the ear leather rest in our hand as we brush the ear. Um, but we just want to go through the coat layer by layer. So um, you're going to go all over the entire body. I like to go section by section but really using the long pin pin brush on the longer coat just is more efficient. The brush can work its way all the way through the coat better, all the way down to the skin. And remember when you are brushing your dog that getting down to the skin is the most important part. So with a shorter pin pin brush, this pin brush is um, probably about a 22 millimeter pin. Um, you know, you could use this on her coat, but I would prefer a longer pin pin brush. The one place I would use the one with the shorter pins would be on her shorter toe coat. Um, I would maybe use it around her muzzle, maybe on her belly. But anytime that there is a shorter pin pin brush, I'm going to use that on a dog that has shorter coat. So when we are using a pin brush on a wire coat, like a uh, wire haired Vizsla, like we have here with Rose, you know, the rule is with pin brushes, the longer the coat, the longer the pin on the pin brush. And also the harder the coat, the more firm you want the pad of the pin brush, right? So I would not be using a very long pin brush like we see here with the 35 millimeter. I'm gonna be using something like a 22 and a firmer feel to those pins, right? Because, you know, when we're using them on this wire coat type, 
Typically, we don't use them a lot. We're gonna be using a bristle brush for most of the body coat, but you know, if we were gonna go through it with a pin brush, it would be a shorter pinned one, you know, just so we can make sure that we're getting the skin stimulated and you know, what little furnishings she does have that we are going through it with this shorter pinned pin brush, you know, making sure we can get all of her little face hairs groomed. There she goes. So really using the long pin pin brush, first of all, it's a bit of overkill. You don't really need a pin that's that long. And also it's gonna be have a softer flex. So it's not going to do as good a job on this harder coat. So just something to remember when using pin brushes on this coat type. So the next time you're reaching for a pin brush and you're wondering what coat type um, or what pin brush you need for that coat type that you are doing, just come back, look at this video and we'll help you out. Hey everyone. Thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below. Let us know what you thought. And as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium, and subscription content. And we'd love to have you join us there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.